Hi everybody. I was going to try and shoot some video of the go-kart again today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But that's okay, I have another indoor project to work on. Let's go. It's this thing. Whirlpool Duet with Steam. The HE model. WFW8640BWO. Now that we're back here, first things first, unplug the power. Don't work on anything that's energized. It's too dangerous. All right, first I wanna get this drain out of the way. So we're gonna take this clip off of here. It's not necessary. Just opens up a lot more room to work. It just pops right off of there. Okay, so with the drain out of the way, there are screws everywhere. They're here, 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 here. They're everywhere. We have to take this whole entire back panel off. Now, if I got all the screws out, this should come off. Oh, no, I missed one. I missed one. There's one here, right there in the middle. Now, the fun part. This is the drain on the bottom of the tub. That's the pump. And that's the water outlet. It goes all the way up, back up to the top of the washer, that hose that we just took off. Usually what happens, this right here, this boot, this rubber boot, is what gets clogged up. And it's not easy to get on and off. I hate to take it off, but we have to there's probably a clog somewhere in this boot going to that pump that's what we have to fix Now for the smaller one. Well, you can see in there. Looks pretty clear. That means wherever this clog is originating from, inside this pump somewhere. I've got this little hook and I'm gonna try and get some of the stuff out of there. You can see that there's stuff inside of that pump that's got it plugged up. A quarter. That'll probably do it. And a dime. Thus far, it's a 35 cent problem. That's everything that came out of that sump. Some twigs, safety pin, gum wrappers, some change, a piece of plastic. And when that stuff gets in there, it builds up lint that the pump can't move and it won't pump the water out anymore. I'm not fighting with this thing anymore. I have a better solution. Ta da! Easier parts to work with. Let's try this. Put this thing on there.
little one's not so bad. There it goes. All right, we got it all put back together. We're gonna give it a quick test before I put the back cover on it and push it back into place. Just in case it doesn't work, I don't have to drag it back out. So really what I'm gonna do is let it fill up with some water and see if it pumps it out with any problems. All right, nothing seems to be leaking. Seems to be working properly. Let's see if we fix what we came to fix. Shit! Yeah, probably. So yeah, always remember to reconnect your drain first. Don't laugh at that. Now that it's working, we can put the back cover on it again. We know it's working because it pumped water all over the floor. That's a sure sign that the pump is no longer clogged up. See why that little screw is handy? I don't have to hold this piece of metal up here and try and put the screws back in it. It'll hold it for me. Get the drain back on here. Not having that catastrophe again. You're too loud. All right, let's give it one last test. Make sure that it works. leaks going out through the drain and the water's leaving the drum you can see the water level going down I think I'm gonna call that a success